Are you getting my why? Why is it not Sir, you are not sir. Screen? You are not sir. What is it? 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 Break a screen? Ah, uh, sir. Okay. Yala room kale the room room signal Okay, see guys, actually we have started this types of operating systems. We have started with this one. The first category is we have seen is the batch operating system. When we come to this batch operating system, what will happen in this batch operating system is the computers we have used here are called mainframes. And the thing is why is resound us not in Guys, we can resound us now. Why is it? If you look at the resound lap, why is No, sir. So, resound lay together? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. See, the first one is actually we have seen batch operating system and multi programming. Just in two minutes, we will remain these two, then we will go for the remaining two multi processing and real time systems. When we come to the batch operating system, the computers we have used are called the mainframes. And when we come to this batch operating system, the name itself indicating here the jobs are given to the operating system in the form of batches. Okay, whenever we have the jobs to execute, the jobs we want to execute are given to the computer in the form of batches. That's why this operating system is called batch operating system. It will accept the jobs in the form of batches only. See, when we come to this one, here there is no direct interaction between user and the computer. Between user and the computer, computer operator will be there. Okay, the user has to submit the jobs to the computer operator then the computer operator will take all the jobs he will form batches and he will submit each every time one batch to the computer after batch one is completed he will submit second batch after second batch is over he will submit the third batch like that the computer operator will form the batches basing on the requirement of the jobs he will form batches on the jobs and he will submit the jobs to the computer that's why this operating system is called the batch operating system. Here the main points are the computers we have used in the BOS are called mainframes and when we come to this BOS there is no direct interaction between user and the computer. Between user and the computer, computer operator will be there. The user has to submit the job to the uh, computer operator then the operator will collect all the jobs and he will form batches. He will divide all the jobs into some number of batches. And every time one batch will be given to the computer. That's why this operating system is called the batch operating system. And when we come to the drawback of this one is, okay, one more point here is the, after the jobs are given to the computer, after one batch is given to the computer, inside the computer there is one program called monitor. There is a special program called monitor. Okay, whenever a job is given to the computer, this monitor program will take care of the execution of the batch. The computer operator will send the first batch to the computer. Inside the computer, there is a special program called monitor who will receive that batch and it will be responsible for execution of that batch. That is uh, briefly about the BOS. The drawback of this BOS is the one drawback is starvation. That means 
whenever the first batch jobs are taking more time the remaining jobs will get we has to wait for a long period of time to get their chance for example if three jobs are there job 1 job 2 job 3 first job 1 is given to the computer after job 1 completed then only the chance will be given to job 2 after job 2 completed then only the chance will be given to the job 3 if job 1 takes more amount of time job 2 job 3 has to wait for a long period of time to get their chance that drawback is called starvation okay that is the first drawback is starvation okay if first job takes a huge amount of time then remaining jobs has to wait for a long period of time to get their chance the drawback is called starvation next drawback is the non interactive non interactive that means there already we know this point there is no direct interaction between the user and the computer that is the one more drawback whenever the job is given to the computer after the job is given to the computer in the middle of execution if the user wants to communicate with the program he is unable to communicate with the program at once the job is submitted to the computer operator the user has no interaction with the job okay if he want to change the input values to the job he can't change the input values why because he can't communicate with the program if he want to change some programming lines he can't change why because already it is submitted the way the drawback of the second drawback is non interactive once the job is submitted the user has no direct interaction with the computer so he can't change the job that is a one more drawback this is the briefly about the first one batch operating system here the important and main point here we have to remember is in case of bos after first job is completed so completely over then only second job will start the execution cpu will execute first job after first job is completely over then only cpu will touch see the second job after second job is completely over then only cpu will go to the third job that is the main point we have to remember here in case of bos the point is after one job is completely over then only cpu will take the second job now when we go to the multi programming operating system here the main concept is main concept is the os will accept multiple jobs at a time the os and cpu will accept multiple jobs at a time they will run multiple jobs at a time that concept is called multi programming operating system here the os and the operating system will accept multiple jobs at a time here how it is accepting multiple jobs means first it will start job j1 after uh, executing job j1 for some time if job j1 went to waiting state cpu will not wait for j1 immediately it will start execution of j2 okay while j2 is running in the middle if j2 has stopped due to some reason okay j uh, cpu will not wait for completion of j2 whenever j2 stop immediately cpu will jump to j3 like that it can run in case of batch operating system until first job is completed successful is it won't touch the second job but when we come to the multi programming when the first job has stopped in the middle immediately cpu and os will jump to second job if the second job is completed no problem at all if it is not completed if it is stopped immediately they don't wait they don't waste their time immediately see cpu and os will jump is called multi went to the waiting state immediately cpu and os will jump to the next job but when we come to the batch operating system whenever one job went to the waiting state cpu will not go to next job cpu will also wait until the job has completed a point after when there is difference bos ke din ki is it clear that difference ad important and edukondi stress chestha ante manaku second unit mottham ee point mene untundandi andika dinu meeku entha ga stress chesedu nenu is it clear that one guys is it clear
Okay, in this operating system, OS picks up begins execution of one of the jobs from main memory. Okay, once this job needs I/O operation, okay, well, running low on a job, one guy, then I/O operation goes input or output goes on by the way. If it go go to go for input or output operation, immediately OS will switches to another job. Then currently running execute a job, one guy, I/O operation goes on for the kill day. Immediately, OS will jump to another job. This e process, e multi-programming, then the CPU and OS are always busy. If one job has gone for some other work, immediately they will take the next job. The CPU and OS will never sit idle. They are always busy. Okay. How it will select the job means it will follow some algorithms called CPU scheduling algorithms. Okay, for well, multiple jobs ready count a and the year job select chess content and a chess content, it will go with the concept called CPU scheduling algorithms. My second unit of the CPU scheduling algorithms, and there we will see how it will select the one job from the multiple jobs means whenever we have the multiple jobs. It... Mm -hmm. Okay, whenever we have the multiple jobs are there. Whenever multiple jobs are there ready for execution, it will select one of the job by using some concepts called CPU scheduling algorithms. With the help of this concept of CPU scheduling, it will select one job. Our second unit is completely CPU scheduling. There we will see more clearly about this one. Okay. Generally, in case of non-multi-programming system, that means in case of batch operating system, in case of non multi program system, that means in case of batch operating system, okay, whenever the job is, when job for IO operation, CPU will sit ideal. Whenever the job for whenever the job operation CPU sits ideal and does not do any work. But in case of multiple CPU sits ideal and does not do any work. Always busy. Time sharing system. Okay. In case of time sharing system, what will happen is the CPU time is equally divided to all the jobs. The CPU time is equally divided to all the jobs. For example, four jobs are there. Okay. In case of time sharing operating system, what will happen is okay. For example, if the fixed time is five minutes, first five minutes chance will be given to job J1. After five minutes, even though J1 is not completed, immediately CPU will jump to J2. Again, for J2, CPU will do five minutes time. It will move from one job to another job. After some fixed time is over, that is the time sharing one. In case of this time sharing systems, a fixed time will be given to every job. After the fixed time is over, even though the job is not completed, CPU will jump to the next job. Okay, this is this technique is called round robin fashion. We call this one as a round robin. Round robin is also one of the CPU scheduling algorithm is round robin scheduling algorithm. We will learn about the round robin scheduling algorithm clearly in the future classes. Okay, this time sharing systems are purely basing on the concept of this round robin scheduling algorithm. Here, what is the concept is a fixed time slot will be given to every job. After the time slot is over, immediately, even though the job is not completed, CPU will shift to next job. That is the concept of time sharing systems. This is an extension of the multi-programming. In case of multi-programming, whenever the first job stopped, then only CPU will jump to the second job. But in case of time sharing system, 
whenever the time slot is over, then the CPU will shift to next job. That is a small difference between the normal multi-programming and this time-sharing operating system. The main difference is, in case of multi-programming, whenever the first job completed or stopped, then CPU will jump to the next job. But in case of time-sharing system, even though the first running job is not completed or not stopped, after the time slot is over, immediately CPU will jump to the second job. After the time slot of the second job is over, immediately CPU will jump to the third job. Time slot is over, it will go to the fourth job. Time slot is over, it will go to the fifth job. After the time slot of last job is over, again it will come back to the first job. That's why it is called round robin. If five jobs are there, five minutes for J1, after five minutes it will go to J2, after five minutes J3, after five minutes J4, after five minutes J5. Finally, after five minutes of J5, it will come to the J1 again. Round robin fashion. Clear. That is this one. Briefly, batch operating system, multi-programming operating system, and an extension of multi-programming operating system with the time-sharing operating system. Is it clear, this one? Next one is a multi-processing operating system. The next one is the multi-processing operating system. Here what will happen in this multi-processing operating system is multiple processors will be there. This operating system will maintain the multiple processors. That means normally the normal systems will contain only one processor. One CPU will be there for every system. But when we come to the multi-processing operating system, this operating system will support multiple CPUs at a time. Internally, it will contain the two or more number of CPUs will be there. So that what is the advantage of having multiple processors? We can start, start doing multiple jobs simultaneously with the help of this multi-processing. Parallelly, we can run multiple jobs at a time. First job, if five jobs are there and five processors are there. First job will be given to the processor one. At the same time, second job will be started by processor two. Third job will be started by processor three. Fourth job will be started by four. JFI, processor four. Fifth job will be started by the processor five. Parallelly, all the five jobs are run by the five processors. That is the multi-processing operating system. Here the OS will support the multiple processors. It will contain, it will support maintaining of the multiple processors so that the work will be done parallelly and fastly. Okay, see in multi-processing, parallel computing is achieved. That means in case of multiple processing, parallel computing, that means parallel execution is achieved. We can run the jobs parallelly. In case of multi-programming, the jobs are not running parallelly, but we are starting all the jobs, but they are not running parallelly. For some time, J1 will be run. After J1 stopped, J2 will be run. After J2 stopped, J3. All the jobs are running, but not at the same time parallelly, they are not running. But when we come to the multi-processing, all the jobs will run parallelly. That is the small difference between multi-processing and multi-programming. In case of multi-programming, only one processor will be there, but it will start multiple programs at a time. But when we come to the multi-processing, multiple processors are there, and those multiple processors will run the multiple jobs at a time. That is the difference between this multi-programming and multi-processing operating systems. Clear? In this multi-processing, parallel computing is achieved. That means parallel execution of the programs is achieved. There are more than one processor present in the system which can execute more than one process at the same time. This multi-processing operating system will contain more than one processor so which can execute more than one job at the same time. It can execute more than one job at the same time. Okay. What is the advantage of this multi-processing is? The advantage of this multi-processing is it increases the throughput of the system. Throughput means the amount of work it has done, the total amount of work it has done. Throughput means the total amount of work done for a given at a given time. A particular time low, amount of work chase in the energy throughput. Throughput can be defined as a amount of work done at a given amount of time. At a particular time, a particular time, low, the work is 
Tala measures that is called throughput. Is it clear? What is a throughput means the amount of work done at a particular amount, particular period of time is called throughput. Okay. Here, the advantage of multi-processing operating system is the multi-processing operating system will increase the throughput of the system. That means the amount of work done will be more when we compare with the multi-programming system. The amount of work done by this multi-processing system is very high. Very high. That is the advantage of this multi-processing system. Okay, see, three processors are there, P1, P2, P3. P1 is running J1, at the same time P2 is running J2, at the same time P3 is running J3. That means since we have three processors are there, at the same time three processors are running three jobs. With this one, what is the advantage is throughput is increased. Throughput means the amount of work done at a particular time is more when we compare with the multi-programming operating system. Satish, are you there? Satish, are you there? Hello? Satish? Guys, Satish, Venki, are you there? Vidrona Lera? No, sir. Remaining all Lera, your connector than Idre on our end, last in the other. Only two people has came. What's the reason? Okay, and Oxar Groom will inform the end. Majano, Oka five minutes in Zoom low. The class of London mandatory connect on and Majano. Everyone must connect. Mandatory under connect on Majano. Okay, sir. One o'clock. Okay. Okay, sir. Five minutes, five minutes meeting. Everyone has to connect. Mandatory protocol connect on the Japan. Sir, sir, you have to talk with them. See, finally, one more operating system is the real-time operating system. It is one of the people who are doing it. The real-time real operating system, it is mainly used in the scientific research. It is mainly used in the scientific research that operating system is a real-time operating system. One language called it will work with that time constraint. Time constraint will work out. Two minutes will complete all and it will definitely complete the job in two minutes only. Time constraint exactly, it will do the work with the time constraints. Okay, two minutes of work all in the two minutes of complete hour. Okay, so and the time limit is there, our time limit will complete challenge. That is the task of this real time operating system. The time maintain there, they will use the real time operating systems. Real time OS Ekavarta on the area low it catch the rail time maintain chalo for task key time on a computer or in that areas they will use the real time operating systems. For example, satellite launching idea on the satellite launching. Satellite launching one keep satellite launch is on the idea on there. Satellite launching के लिए हम कौन दे? करते का countdown बैठा रहने दे। लाइवों ने satellite launch वाले ने exactly लाइवों को launch ही पावले। Okay, आठ दस time wait दे जाले। Satellite communication में कौन दे? लाइवों ने किस satellite start वाले ने लाइवों के exactly start वाले। टोल की लॉप ला, चांपर लो fire बनना वाले ने exactly टोल का चांपर लो fire बनना वाले। अब रा satellite free का उन्नत अलग अलग। अतः satellite communication Satellites, they are using the real time OS only. Okay, in the kind of time important to particular time, lo job jargal and a particular time, lo no job jargal. 
ఆ టైం దాటితే అది వేస్ట్ అవుతుంది అలాంటి అప్పుడు సిచ్యువేషన్స్ లో దే విల్ యూజ్ ద రియల్ టైమ్ ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్ ద రియల్ టైమ్ ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్స్ ఆర్ ద ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్స్ విచ్ విల్ మెయింటైన్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్ టైమ్ వైల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటింగ్ ద జాబ్స్ వైల్ దే ఆర్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటింగ్ ద జాబ్స్ దే విల్ మెయింటైన్ ద ఎగ్జాక్ట్ టైమ్ కన్స్ట్రైన్ మనం ఏదైతే టైం కన్స్ట్రైన్ ఆ టైం కన్స్ట్రైన్ అది ఎగ్జాక్ట్ గా ఫాలో అవుతుంది అలాంటి ఓఎస్ అంటే రియల్ టైమ్ ఓఎస్ ఇది ఎప్పుడు వాడతాము అంటే ఇన్ ద సైంటిఫిక్ ఏరియాస్ ఇన్ ద మెడికల్ ఏరియాస్ వేర్ వీ వాడ్ ద టైం కన్స్టెంట్ ఎప్పుడైతే మనకి ఎగ్జాక్ట్ టైం కన్స్టెంట్ కావాలో ఇన్ దట్ ఏరియాస్ వీ విల్ యూజ్ దిస్ రియల్ టైమ్ ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్స్ ఓకే బేసిక్ ఆన్ ద టైం కన్స్టెంట్ ఓన్లీ See this one, in real-time systems, each job carries a certain deadline within which the job is supposed to be completed. Okay, here what will happen is, for every job, certain deadline time will be given. This is what we have done. We will do the same thing in the second unit, and we will do the second unit. Okay, each job carries a certain deadline within which the job is supposed to be completed. Each deadline will 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 be completed. Otherwise, huge loss will be there or even the result produced will be completely useless okay konni konni jobs ela untayante each in deadline lo pro the job has to be completed otherwise they will get huge loss or even the otherwise even though the result has came the result has no use at all at that situations we use this real time operating system ante manaki each in deadline lo work ayithe manaki use avutundi లేదు అంటే మనకి యూస్ అవ్వదు అలాంటి సిచ్యువేషన్స్ లో యూజ్ దిస్ రియల్ టైమ్ ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్స్ యూస్ దిస్ వన్ ఖచ్చితంగా ఆ డెడ్ లైన్ లో ఆ జాబ్ కంప్లీట్ అవ్వాలి సో డెఫినెట్లీ ఆ డెడ్ లైన్ లో జాబ్ కంప్లీట్ అవ్వాలంటే వి హావ్ టు యూస్ ద ఇన్ దోస్ సిస్టమ్స్ వి హావ్ టు మెయింటైన్ ద రియల్ టైమ్ ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్స్ క్లియర్ అండి వాట్ ఈస్ ద యూస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ రియల్ టైమ్ ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్స్ ఓకే వేర్ ద టైమ్ కన్స్టెంట్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఇన్ ఎగ్జిక్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ ద జాబ్ we use the real time os in those systems where we have the time constraint on the jobs okay the jobs has to complete within the given time constraint or within the given deadline in the situations for those systems we use this real time operating systems manaki missiles mind at the war time they will use the missiles okay missiles mind they will aim for the target target in 10 seconds to reach our it has to reach the it's it the missile will hit the particular target okay a particular target to hit our land it has to go within the given time constraint and a mission 10 seconds in 10 seconds la operation complete avali it has to drop the bomb within the 10 seconds alarm systems lo they will use the real time operating systems only they will use okay why because there is a time constraint on that one for example enemy troop is moving from one place to another place enemy troop ya ka vehicles move outunnayandi okay we have targeted the vehicle of the enemies so a vehicle move outundi kabatti 10 seconds lo missile velthene it will hit the target a target vehicle hit avalante exactly it has to move within the 10 seconds 10 seconds that in the the vehicle will move from that location location that will go to the so at the time constraint the missile has to hit the vehicle within the 10 second time constraint only otherwise no use at all after the missile will not serve we have no use why because target is not in that location for those situations we will use this real time operating systems okay in the research areas in the war mission in the military applications in the medical applications okay in the all those things it will use this real time operating system clear guys these are the mainly four categories of this operating systems real time operating system real time multi processing system multi programming system and the batch operating system these are the four categories of the operating systems okay yeah again one more time we will briefly see about these ones why because they will play major role okay the first category is the batch operating system when we come to bos the main concept here is here is there is no intra direct interaction between the user and the main frames between the computer and the user there is no direct interaction and the comp- the user has to submit the jobs to the computer operator then the operator will form batches and he will 
So he will submit the batches to the computer. Then the computer will execute the jobs. Clear? That is what is happening in the batch operating system. In the batch operating system, generally what will happen is when one job is given to the computer, after the job is completely over, then only it will uh, the CPU will jump to the second job. After first job is completed so successfully, then only CPU will move to the second job in case of this batch operating system. Clear. Here the drawback of this one is starvation and non-interaction. The first problem is non-interactive. There is no direct interaction between the user and the program. That is the one drawback. The second drawback is starvation. Since after one job is completed, then only CPU is moving to second job. If the first job stopped in the middle, until first job is completed, CPU will sit idle. It don't go to the next job. That is the problem with this one. If the first job has stopped in the middle, then the CPU will also sit idle until the first job is completed successfully. Okay, it has to wait. That is the drawback of this one batch operating system. This is my example. The other one the first student to chase our application form fill it and help him on that. So I started filling the application of first student. But in my information lack application filling I put in the since he has some values, but there are only values level, so we stopped filling the application. So now what mainly our values this one which the application complete it, I will sit idle. I don't touch the second student. Then second student will come. First student if work successfully, most of complete it, I will wait. That is the batch operating system. After the work of first student is successfully completed, then only we will move to the second student. Clear. ये drawback ना होना हम तो starvation होता हूँ। so first student का ना एक को time दिस कुंटे वाले data दिस को आने के एक को time बढ़ते हैं। second student आम तो time wait चाहिए आलसी थे। that situation is called the starvation। ये कब होते हैं ये drawback ना solve करने का समय। we are going to multi programming। here what we will do in the multi programming is if the first student के work is stopped, I don't sit idle. Immediately I will start work of the second student. बाकी लोग first student work करने का आगे बोलते हैं, I will jump to the second student. इन लोगों को वाला data देते हैं लोगों को, I will start doing the work of second student. बाकी लोग second student work करने का आगे बोलते हैं, immediately I will jump to the third student. Third student work क्या स्थान है? Why are the I put the first student? All right. Okay. Here the thing is, I don't sit idle. Then I put a colleague on. If I have a first student work, I put immediately I will start the second student work. That is multi-programming. Clear. In case of multi-programming, if generally it will select one job. After selection of the job, while the job is running, if the job is stopped in the middle, immediately the CPU and OS will jump to the second job. They will jump to the second job they don't sit idle the difference between bos and multi programming is in case of batch operating system the cpu and os can sit idle but in case of multi programming the cpu and os will never sit idle they will never idle idle means kali ga gurchotu eppudu kali ga undu always they are always busy okay when we come to third category is the multi processor systems what is this multiprocessor system is? Here the thing is, multiple CPUs are maintained in the system. Okay, it's generally the systems will contain only one processor, but when we come to the multiprocessor systems, multiple processors are maintained in the system. What is the benefit of maintaining multiple processors is, if we are maintaining multiple processors in the system, okay, they can run multiple jobs parallelly. Okay, the, since multiple processes are there, multiple jobs can be done parallelly in the system. So that the throughput of the system will be increased. The overall throughput of the system will be increased with the help of this multi-processing system, the throughput will be increased. That is the thing. Next, finally, we have one more category is the real-time operating systems. The real-time operating systems are used in the constraint in the situation where the jobs have to be completed within the given deadline. Real-time OS are used in those situations where the jobs has to be completed within the given deadline. Whenever the jobs have time constraint for completing such jobs who have the time constraint, these real-time operating systems are used. Generally, the real-time operating systems are used in the scientific areas. 
in the scientific research okay military applications medical research areas satellite communications in the like that where time constraint is important in those locations they will use this real time operating system clear this is definitely the types of operating systems